Howdy YouTube, my name's Ethandra, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So, in retrospect of the last video, I felt it was most appropriate to honor Lottie by decreasing the population of Hocus Pocus in Union's Cross. So that's exactly what we're about to do. And in addition to that, I thought I should clarify something. In case it wasn't immediately obvious, I'm not a very emotional person by nature. In case the monotoneness of my voice didn't give it away. It takes something legitimately to surprise me or something I feel very strongly about to get a reaction out of me. That being said, when, when Lottie got defeated and I knew there was essentially nothing I could do about it, especially when I realized how much time I wasted, uh, it probably sounded like that I was faking it because, again, not very emotional. So I might sound like I am, but I assure you I wasn't because something about me that you can realize is I don't just pull things out my butt. You can literally just go back and watch my old videos and see how it comes true in the future. Like how I said, I am not a dramatic person, so why would I fake a reaction like that? Uh, but not to get too far before I completely forget. No, seriously. When uh, Lottie got defeated and I realized too much time had passed and there was nothing I could do about it, I... I still am, as a matter of fact, legitimately sad because that was something that could have been prevented. I alone could have prevented it, and I didn't. So that makes that made me feel very, very bad. Uh, I wear my heart on my sleeve. So, I mean, I say that, but it's like I said, I don't really get offended very easily or angry or anything like that. It, only, it takes, like, certain topics to really set me off. And when they do, it's usually intensely because, as I mentioned before, bipolar, anger issues depression, etc. Uh, that's why I make a lot of YouTube videos. That's why I vent here, just to say that again. But, um, yeah, so no, I wasn't faking my reaction when she went down. I was legit sad about that. And uh, something else, like I said before, you can glean from my videos is I don't just think up stuff like, oh man, I better go ahead and say this just so people won't think, etc. No, you can literally go back and for those of you who are new and haven't done it yet, I've made a playlist for your convenience. I'm actually trying to avoid the shenanigans because uh, my mails are getting full. Uh, we're not going to do too many of these. I promise you I will be fighting this sucker off screen. But, uh, yeah, my mail is getting full. For all I know, this is probably, this is probably uh, the last time I can go before they get filled up. But since I'm trying to find Lottie anyway, just to try to make up for my transgressions, uh, I'll just stop after this real quick, delete some medals, and hop immediately back in. But, yeah, as I was saying, for a second there, that like Skull. Or, not Skull, but Skulled. Skulled? I think her name's Skulled. Yeah, Skulled, because he's using the Kyrie hair, but it's like jet black, so that's what it looked like for a second. And, yeah, I did notice that Skull and Skulled are coincidentally very close to sounding the same. I've thought that ever since I came up. Well, I didn't come up with his name. I found it. But, yeah, I've been thinking that, too. Anyway, getting off topic. Uh, you can just watch my older videos, and you'll see some of the things I mentioned happen later. Like, I had a, an actual example, but, of course, I went and forgot. But the most recent one is how I said I don't do drama. I don't troll. So, obviously, when uh, Lottie got defeated... Oh, crap. When Lottie got defeated, I... Uh, was not faking that. I really did feel bad. I still do. And there was another one right there. I better say it before I forget. Uh, I have a... Uh, oh, man. I, I forgot what it was called for a second. ADHD. I almost said ASP or something. Something stupid. Anyway, I have ADHD as well. So that's how come I, like, talk really fast and why I say things that might not make any sense. Like, in the last video, I said... I don't remember what I said. That's another reason I have a bad memory. Uh, so you know I'm not just faking or, like, super nervous. I'm not really nervous about recording anymore. It's just, you know, bad memory and ADHD and all kind of other stuff. But, yeah, I mentioned all that in previous videos. So when you, if you, like, jump in recently and be like, why is he forgetting everything? Why is he talking so fast and saying something like blue is his favorite color? That's why he doesn't like the clothes that Donald wears. You know, it's like, that doesn't make any sense. You just said blue was your favorite color. I know I meant to say blue is not my favorite color. That's why I don't like the clothes Donald wears. And by the way, that's a totally random example. That's not true. That was just literally the first thing that popped into my head. When I say things like that, that don't make sense, that's why. But, uh, 
yeah, you can just go back and watch some of my older videos and you'll see that a lot of things that are happening now, I already told you would happen back then. So you know it's not just me just making it up on the fly. These are legit problems I have that have always existed. Now, let me go and go into here real quick so we can go back to getting our revengeance against, uh, didn't mean to click on that, against um, Hocus Pocus. Yeah, here we go. Okay, I didn't have as many as I thought I did, so that's good. Okay. No, I'm actually pretty good. I got, like, a lot of free space. So that's cool. So we're going to hop back in and see what we can do. If I do happen to come across Lottie again, whether it becomes in a... Re whether it becomes in a recording or off screen, I'm gonna make sure that she doesn't, you know, get killed. And if she does, I'm gonna make sure I am just like five steps away, not paying attention. See, that's another thing I told you all about. I literally just said it, ADHD. That's why I'm like all over the place right now because I'm, I'm bad at multitasking. That's something else I've said in the past, which is why I mess up a lot when I'm doing things like this. I am not good at multitasking. I can probably do two or three things at the same time, but any more than that, and I'm just a mess. Oh, man. I should probably also say this before I completely forget. When Lottie was here originally, I kind of felt, especially when she got killed, or KO'd, rather, uh, I pretty much knew it was going to happen. That's why I was so determined to not let it happen and why I was so upset when it did, because of how the enemies are. And uh, how strong they can actually be, really, if you're not anything like this. Especially with the kit that she had. Yeah, and crap like that. So, when I saw we were here, I didn't say it out loud, but I was dreading that that was going to happen. And sure enough, it did. Like I said, what threw me off was I was looking for her to run to the boss, but I didn't see her. I didn't even see her marker. So, I was like, okay, maybe she's already there. Like, look, there's uh, Remy. And Luther. See, I can see them. So, what happened? Now, okay, see, now their things disappear, but I see the cloud. That's what threw me off before. Because I thought when her marker had disappeared, that meant she had managed to get to the boss safely. But, ah, oh, that really bothers me. And that just goes to say, again, as I've mentioned in the past, I'm sure, is uh, how much I like Union's Cross because of the people you get to meet. And she was pretty uh, communicative. If that's even a word. She talked a lot. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can save this guy. I think their name is trying to say Hades. I really can't tell because Goofy's hat was in the way. Oh, spades. But yeah, we can save spades. See, I could have done that with Lottie if I had paid attention, but I was so devastated by her not being there. Gotta say, he should be up. Anyway... Also devastated by the fact that I let her down as hardcore as I did. It slowed down my, you know, attacks. So that just made it even worse. Oh, well. We're not done yet, though. But yeah, so I just thought I'd go ahead and clear that up. Is uh, I'm never going to be like that. I'm not going to fake my... That's more stuff. See, this is what I'm trying to get off to you guys is that do not take that out of context. I just realized how that sounded. What I meant to say was, don't take it out of context. I'm not trying to mislead you all. But I mentioned, oh man, I'm losing my topic again. Uh, well, I guess there's more proof. ADHD. Memory loss. But, uh, I already forgot what I was saying. But hopefully, when I rewatch this video at some point, I'll see what I was talking about. And I'll just bring it up in the next video. But, uh, Oh, no, don't grab that. But, um, yeah. I, uh, am not just making up things as I go to try to cover my own butt. I really do have some legit problems. So, as you can tell in the past video, some of them are actually coming true. I just really want to stress that. Oh, yeah, I was saying something like how I'm not going to fake reactions because I already told you how I felt about faking reactions. So, yeah, you see the point I'm trying to make here? I'm not going to be just making stuff up. Every single thing that has happened, I have already talked about. I'm not going to mess with that shenanigan because he's just going to give me a medal that I don't want. 
Yeah, now I think about it, I think they did too. Oh, yeah. Um, I was thinking of an example, and I don't remember if I said it, but I was thinking one of the examples of where... I'm just going to chill here. Yeah. I was, one of the examples I was thinking of where I do get emotional. Uh, well, then I'm not an emotional person, so that's good or bad, depending on who you ask. But uh, it, it takes something significant to get a reaction out of me. That's why uh, I probably sounded really funny when A, Lottie, got knocked out. And B is when Eternia and I met in the Union's Cross before I joined her party. The reason that was a big deal is because even though we planned it, there was no way to know when it was going to happen because we are in, we're in Vulpus, I think that's the name of our union, the Fox one, and that, and here, North America, Global, whatever, it is the biggest union, it has the most people, it has been consistently, uh, number one in the rankings, or at least it has been ever since I've been playing and before anyone tries to be cute, no, I'm not saying it's me, we both know that ain't true. But ever since I had joined, I noticed that when I picked Vulpus, they are always, oh, they are always in the number one spot. Always. So with that being said, them having the most people, the chances of uh, Eternia and I running into each other was so, so non-existent. It's kind of surprising that it happened, which is why my reaction the way it was is because it happened. But at the same time, my plan might have something to do with that. I know, shocker, Ethanra had a plan that actually worked. But the plan was, is that every two rounds, every, okay, that's fair. Every two rounds, we would uh, leave whatever group we're in and then, and then go find a new one in the hopes that we'll eventually catch up to each other. But then, um, I forgot what happened. Like, one of our connections, I think, went off, or I was recording it at the time, by the way. So uh, I think something might have happened my recording. I was like, all right, Eternia, this and this and this has changed. Now we need to do this. So I changed the plan to be more effective and where it was, oh, that outfit reminds me of Lottie. Where I changed it up to be where every one round we would change uh, for the same conversation. We'll just call them parties as well. We would change parties and then uh, jump back into Union's Cross to try to meet up with each other. And if that didn't happen, kill the boss, leave that party, repeat as necessary. And that's eventually how we managed to keep up with each other. It didn't take me long at all, but Eternia said it took her like over 15 tries. So that's what I'm talking about. But I think I'm going to do just one more round. Do my part in lowering... Do my part in lowering the... Uh, the Union's Cross uh, Hocus Pocus thing. I'm going to make an exception for this rule just because of justice there waving in my face. I don't think she was doing it as an insult. It was actually kind of funny. But I'll do one more with them, then I'll leave, and then that will be the last one. All right, because if I get too attached, then I'm never going to leave, and this video will just go on forever. It'll be the Gambler of Fate video all over again. And that's another thing. I don't know if any, most of you have seen it already, but you know how I talk about the gold... I'm probably going to say their name wrong every single time, unless I'm looking right at it, by the way. But the gold, Thumbalock, Thumb, Choco, oh geez, the gold, Trich, Trichalomalas, whatever those things are, the golden truffles, them, the reason why I uh, care not for them is because of what happened in the Gambler of Fate video. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it already. I'm just going to say, if you care, and I'm not trying to be mean when I say that, but seriously, if you care enough, go and watch it. I hope you won't be disappointed because uh, I think by my own standards, and I am pretty hard on myself because uh, I can't even begin to tell you how many videos I've deleted, but uh, even I feel that's one of my best videos because it has a pretty funny part in it. As a matter of fact, it's like Eternia's favorite part because of how funny it is. So uh, when when you um, watch that video and you see me come across the gold Chickamalakamas, you'll see why. Uh, they and I don't get along too good. So, again, just to, you know, beat you in the head more with the point, I don't just make up things on the fly. So I wasn't saying, oh, these little devils, I can't wait to do whatever to them. I wasn't saying that to try to be funny. No, we, we actually have a history together. Why I don't like them, 
And they probably do like me, but I don't like them. But with that being said, let's go and take this thing out so we can get out of here. Wow. Also, I don't know if any of you have noticed yet already, but I really like how Skull is like on top of my head when I'm doing the Omni Slash. Get you, gonna get you. All right, as fun as that was, I'm gonna go ahead and quit now and uh, try one last time to find Lottie so I can make up for my past transgression. But of course, for all I know, she probably logged off. And ultimately, I'm not gonna feel too bad. I'm pretty sure I'll run into her sooner or later. It just, I cannot stress enough how bad I feel to let someone down like that. Like I've mentioned in past videos, I'm pretty hard on myself. Like if, like if uh, I get on to someone else, but like saying like, I haven't said this, but this is just an example. How, if I say something like, how could you let so-and-so down when you were right there? Why didn't you pick them up? Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, eventually I do the same thing essentially. And then I'd be like, well, you know, it only happened because reasons. I don't do that. If anything, I'm harder on myself for making the same mistake that you did because I can control what I do. I can only, I can only uh, give advice, theories, suggestions, motivation, all that kind of stuff to you. Oh, sorry, I'm just standing around like a lump. Uh, I can only do that. I cannot pull you like some kind of marionette on strings to do what I say to do. I can only hope you will listen, especially if I know what I'm talking about and it makes sense. Like... For example, the plan with Eternia. What are the odds we'd able to run into each other as big as Vulpus is by using my plan? So, like I said, I'm not that bad when I actually have time to think about what's going on. But before I completely lose my topic, oh gosh, it's already happening. Uh, I don't know. Crap, I already lost it. See, that's another thing. Sorry if that gets on your nerves, but as I've said enough this video, I'm not making it up. I'm not doing that to try to be funny. My memory is that bad. My ADHD is that bad. I <sighs> wish I could remember what I was saying. I'm going to remember. Well, I'm not going to remember. I'm going to watch this video later to see what it was, but... Nah. All right, that was about as fast as I imagined it would be. Something about Lottie, I think. Oh, yes. I was saying how... Uh, well, I don't know if this was exactly what I was saying, but how difficult it was for Eternia and I to meet up, but that's only because we used my plan and we were actually playing. She could have logged off by now. It's not like it's my mission in life, like it's something I need to do. Like I need to hunt her down, like I'm doing for these Hocus Pocus. That's not the case. It just would have been nice to make it up to her because, oh man, that was just such an epic blunder. I cannot believe I let that happen. Uh, but like I said, I'm not faking my reaction here. I legit feel bad. So just take that into consideration when you watch my past videos and eventually catch up to this one. Now you're in the know as well. But that's all I'm going to record for now. I'm going to go and hop back in and uh, just get all my aggressions out on Hocus Pocus. And if I ever come across her again, I'll be sure to point it out. I shall not forget you, Lottie. I promise. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you around.